Welcome to the Daily Connection, Faith Family. I'm David Turner, Connect Group Leader here at First Baptist Church of Van Cleve. We are in the one-year chronological Bible. We are reading through all of God's Word this year. And today we are looking at 2 Samuel chapter 7, 2 Samuel chapter 8, 1 Chronicles 17 and 18, and Psalm 60. Now, the, the basic outline here is we start off in 2 Samuel chapter 7. David is king of all of Israel. King Saul is dead. David now is king of all of Israel. And David plans to build a temple for God. As he looks at his palace, and he realizes he's living in a beautiful place, and yet God's ark is in a tent. And David recognizes that a temple needs to be built. And he prays to God, and he asks about building the temple. In First Chronicles 17, that's the reason we're reading the first year, the one-year chronological Bible is because chronologically 2 Samuel 7 and 1 Chronicles 17 are talking about the same period of time. 1 Chronicles 17 speaks of God's covenant with David and David's prayer in response to that covenant. In 2 Samuel chapter 8, we look at more of David's triumphs as king. And then in 1 Chronicles chapter 18, we see how David's kingdom is strengthened through his actions and God's blessings. But I'm going to focus just right now on his Psalm 60 and two verses in it, verses 11 and 12. Oh, give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. Through God, we shall do valiantly, and it is he who will tread down our adversaries. David spent many years running from Saul. He had many adversaries. We see that throughout his life. And yet, he continues, as God described him, a man after God's own heart. He says, deliverance by man is in vain. It didn't matter how many soldiers he had. It didn't matter how strong, how, how talented they were. He would not be delivered by them. Through God, we shall do valiantly. And it is he who will tread down our adversaries. Isn't that wonderful? Paul writes similar to that in Philippians chapter 2. Verse 13, for it is God who, which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. See, that's what we see happening in David. He wasn't without sin, but when he was being faithful to God, just like us, we have God's Holy Spirit, and that Spirit works in us. And the verse, God worketh in you and me, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. We are God's disciples. We are Jesus' disciples. We are to do his will. We are to serve others. Remember, we are Jesus. We have been bought with a price. Therefore, let us glorify God that we might serve him, that others might come to know the good news of Jesus Christ through us.